Every element on a web page is subject to responsive web design, and we need to understand how page elements can respond to changing screen sizes and ways that we can make them friendlier for the end user. So in this video, I'll discuss scrolling tables. Tables in web design are always going to be tricky because, for one thing, you have uh, uh, content here that's not always the same length inside the cells. For instance, the right-hand column under Notes, we have a lot more content than the other uh, columns. And if we try to resize this, you can see that the browser is going to try its best to resize this table. But as we keep getting that viewport width smaller, so now if I scroll down, we're less than 768 pixels, that somebody with a smartphone browser is going to have a hard time looking at this. Um, it's going to be really difficult. They're going to have to scroll right with their, uh, with their finger. Now what I want to do here is just show you a little trick, and that's scrolling tables. Let's go ahead and get to our code. Now here I've got three media queries, one for less than 768 pixels, one for 768 to 1024 pixels, and one for 1025 pixels. And there's a great little CSS rule that we can use. Uh, we'll create a CSS rule for table, so this will affect uh, the entire table. And it's overflow-x auto. Now we're also going to put in display block to make sure that it displays properly. And once I've done that, I'll go ahead and copy that. And I'm going to put it in our other two media queries as well. So we want it to, to uh, uh, react whenever the uh, table is on the screen. Now, of course, I could put this uh, above the media queries and it would affect the table as well. But uh, this is something, again, that you may not need to do at a screen size higher than 1,024 pixels uh, wide. So I'll go ahead and save that now. And then refresh our screen. And when I do, we're not going to see much of a change here until the browser gets to a point where it can't display the content uh, accurately. The cells are going to get too small. And you can see now what's happened here is we've got a scroll bar on the bottom of the screen. And I'll go ahead and keep resizing. You can see that scroll bar keeps on moving over. And so what happens here is that the table actually becomes scrollable and now it makes it much easier for the user who's using a small viewport size like a, a smartphone to be able to scroll back and forth using that method. So it's a pretty uh, slick little method. It's very easy to implement as you can see. And again really it's uh, it's sort of some, one of those things that you need to do in conjunction with how you're designing your table and how you're making it responsive in terms of resizing. But the command is is overflow dash x auto and then we add in display block just to ensure that the table is properly displayed.